Alhamdulillah, my name is Kainoa Azama and I will serve as the moderator for tonight's candidate forum. This event is being hosted by Kaleo Ona Opio, a collaboration of Native Hawaiian individuals and organizations dedicated to Native Hawaiian youth civic engagement. The purpose of tonight's event is to provide a platform for our Opio and the broader Lahui to learn more about the candidates running for OHA, specifically the OHA at large um, seat. This event is also being live streamed on Facebook. Um, and tonight we have a number of panelists, um, which I will gladly turn over to give you guys a short introduction um, for each and every one of you. The first question off for tonight is, um, what does OHA mean to you? And I'll start with um, Julian, since he joined us first. Hi, aloha nui kakou, well no, o Julian kekilani ako. Um, OHA for me represents a uh, an organization that provides a way to try to improve the conditions of our Kanaka Oivi, our Native Hawaiian people. And it's just, it's just another venue, I think, another organization where uh, efforts can be made to improve the well being of our people. That's what it means to me. Mahalo. Why are all of you choosing to run for the at large seat within the OHA candidate space? So I'm up first, I guess. Um, I decided to run because I have spent my life, uh, my career, in working to advance the well-being of Native Hawaiians of Kanaka Oivi in the field of education. Um, I retired after having served for 10 years as the principal at the high school at Kamehameha Kapalama. And uh, that was after 36 years of service, using education as a vehicle for improving the conditions of our people. In retirement, I sought ways um, to continue to serve our people because I believe strongly in, in um, servant leadership. And um, initially, after retirement, I got heavily involved in the Hawaiian Civic Club movement. Um, I also currently am serving as president of the Kamehameha Schools Alumni Association, Oahu region. And so for me, OHA is a natural next step um, to working on behalf of our Kanako Iwi, our people. Mahalo. Aloha, OHA at large candidates. So my question is that if elected, what would your first priority be to improve conditions for Native Hawaiians? So basically, I have in my campaign, I've uh, now identified three priorities. And one of the top priorities has to do with what Rickwood was referring to, and that is ensuring and working very hard and diligently to ensure that OHA does, in fact, receive 20% of the revenues from the so-called public land trust. Um, I have been you know, doing some research to try to understand that particular issue better. And from what I understand, there are two problems. Number one, um, we don't really know for sure what the entirety of the revenues from the so-called seeded lands is. Um, the experts at OHA say that their share of the 20% should be 78 million a year. Um, even with the bill that's before Governor Evie at the current time uh, caps the annual revenue for OHA at 25 million, it ups it from the, the past 15 million to 25 million. That is, is woefully insufficient in my view. So, you know, the, the money to, to me is important because it, it, it serves as a vehicle for OHA to do good things on behalf of our people in terms of improving their conditions. Uh, 15 million a year to work with in revenues is not a whole lot. Um, as principal at the high school at Kapalama, I was managing a budget of 23 million a year. That's almost as much as, as the state legislature is now saying 
that's willing to give um, OHA each year. So that's that's really one of my my top priorities. Another priority is to ensure that whatever money OHA does get, that it is managed prudently. And thirdly, uh, you know, I think it's important that OHA serve as a voice in terms of advocacy for our people on issues that are important to our people. Mahalo. Would you say each island trustee has represented us um, sufficiently, starting with Julian again? So I don't really think that, that I'm the person to answer that question. I think the people of each island are the ones who should be answering that question. Um, I don't presume to speak to for the people of Moloka'i or Hawaii or um, Moko Keabe. Um, you know, I think I think that's in my view the the way that the election is set up right now, um, whereby neighbor island representatives are required to be residents of those islands, but the whole state gets to vote um, in a, in a way sort of short circuits the 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 ability of the island representatives or you know the people who, who wish to serve their islands to get elected to serve their islands because you know let's 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 be realistic. Um, Oahu has the largest population, and so Oahu is determining that the round who, part, Sorry. Okay. Anyway, that's I think I, I think I've made my point. Mahalo. 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 We have another audience question coming in, um, and this one is, with an increase in the amount of funding that OHA will be receiving from the legislator, how should OHA best use their monies to serve Kanaka? Um, we'll start again with Mr. Ako. So you, you go, you, if the governor signs the bill, first of all, OHA gets $10 million more than it's getting. That's, frankly, that's not a whole lot of money. Um, my belief is, you know, for better or worse, OHA has a 15 year strategic plan. OHA has identified its, um, its strategic directions. What's important is how those strategic directions <clears throat> are implemented. I, for one, if I'm elected, I am not interested in bullying the VA, so to speak, and upending things and trying to go back to start starting from scratch. <clears throat> My commitment is to collaborate with whoever the other eight trustees may be, because I believe that working um, amicably with the other trustees is, is important to, to try to find common ground in terms of um, making the decisions on how the additional $10 million might be expended. So, Honestly, at this point, I don't, I don't really have specific ideas on how the additional funding should be spent, except that I do believe that, that the, the, the priorities that are there need to continue and um, the implementation of those priorities are important in collaboration with the other trustees. If I am elected, I'm only one of nine voices. Finding common ground with the other trustees in the areas that, that we, we share common ground for me is, is important. And one of the things I commit to, mahalo. Okay, so very quickly, this is probably a, a little bit of a much more um, complex question, but if you could just very briefly um, answer this question, which is how do you, or how do you plan to navigate through diverse perspectives and takes on hot topics? Because earlier we were talking about Mauna Kea with some of our candidates. So if you could just very briefly um, go through how you might navigate through diverse perspectives on hot topics. We'll start with Mr. Ako. So first of all, um, I wanna make clear that Hawaiian values are very important to me. And, and, and the princ their principles that are important to me. 
And I, I will stand by those values and those principles in any deliberations in which I may be involved. Unconditional aloha for the other trustees, despite our having different perspectives, is something I commit to bringing to the table and to the work of OHA. I believe that's very important. So the values and my personal principles, I will not sacrifice in this campaign, my values or my principles to get elected or to be in office, mahalo. Hi again, so final question. What is your message to next generation Native Hawaiian leaders? My, my, my message to the next generation of Hawaiian leaders is to make your voice known, to make your voice heard rather. So my campaign slogan is my pa'i kaleo. And if um, anyone else is aware of where that line comes from, it comes from the Oli Kunihi Kumauna. My pa'i kaleo, don't withhold your voice, make your voice heard, get involved, become active. And, and you know, I'm encouraged, frankly, because I'm, I'm seeing that it's already happening. I'm already seeing OPO leadership in action among our people, that, and that encourages me. So I, I, think, I think that, um, you know, I want, want to encourage our OPO to continue down that path of engagement and providing leadership. Mahalo. Well, I will turn it over to Mr. Akko again, and we'll do one last round. First of all, I wanted to thank uh, Kaleo Ona Opio for hosting us tonight. I think this, this kind of forum is extremely important for all candidates to have an opportunity to get their messages out to people. So mahalo nui. Um, so I, I'd like to close with a couple of thoughts. First of all, um, I urge voters, and actually I urge everybody to register to vote first and then to actually vote. But I, I urge voters to look carefully, not only at what the candidates say, but what their track records are in terms of service to our people. To me, that's very important. And I stand on my track record throughout my life of serving our Kanako Ivi. Secondly, I pledge to provide servant leadership if I am elected. And as evidence of that, I have already committed to giving all of my earnings as an OHA trustee to provide scholarships for Kanako Ivi, because I believe that education is one of the keys to improving the conditions of our people. And so I, I'm, I'm not going into this with any consideration for remuneration. Whatever I earn, I'm gonna give back to our appeal in the form of scholarships, mahalo. So again, we'd like to thank all of our candidates um, for an awesome forum, as well as my fellow OPO for helping to facilitate the questions, and to all of you in the audience for your wonderful questions. Um, and we hope to keep in touch soon as, as we look forward to further forums as the election continues on. I believe our next two forums will be regarding the mayor for Maui, as well as the um, governor's seat. So we will be keeping you posted on those dates um, as they are to be determined right now. Again, mahalo nui and mala mahono. Mahalo. Mahalo. mahalo nui. Aloha. 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 Say hi to my brother, Bronson. <laughs>